Howdy y'all, random lady here. And I know I usually put videos out on Mondays, but I really felt I needed to put this video out on a Tuesday because it's a very important Tuesday. It's Tuesday, September 11th. And 17 years ago on a Tuesday, on September 11th, our country was under attack and the enemy used our own planes against us. I know I normally talk about mental health and I want to talk about the day that has caused so many people to suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder because of something that happened so traumatic to our country. I remember where I was on that day. I worked for a pharmaceutical company and I usually worked weekends. So Tuesday was my day off. And I snuggled up in a sweater under a blanket to watch television. And when I turned the TV on, I saw breaking news. One of the Sears Towers was smoking real bad at the top. And the news reporters were trying to figure out what happened, something about a plane hitting the tower. And they didn't even know the full story. They wondered if it was someone's personal plane. But how could it be making that much smoke and have done that much damage? So as we were all trying to figure it out, a second plane came and hit the second tower. And there was news of an airplane hitting the Pentagon. And there was news of another airplane that crashed in Pennsylvania. Our country was under attack and it was very scary. Like I said, 17 years has passed since that day. And lots of information has been gathered. And there are recordings of people calling and telling their loved ones goodbye because they knew where they were going to die. People from that airplane in Pennsylvania and people from the towers. As I watched TV, I called my husband at his job because I knew that they weren't able to watch TV while they worked. And I began informing his place of work as to what was going on. And then while on the phone with my husband, the first tower crumbled and I began crying saying I'm watching hundreds of people die right before my eyes and I wept and my husband I was weeping in the phone in my ear and then the second tower fell yeah I remember where I was and it was tragic And I remember, like a day later, being in the car, driving to work, and I, I still couldn't stop crying about what had happened the day before. Our country was hurting. Everyone was feeling it. Because I did something I don't normally do. I looked over at the car next to me and saw the person sitting there in their driver's seat at that same red light just weeping and crying and she looked over at me and we just knew what both were crying about and we nodded at each other we gave a little wave and the light turned green and we drove on our way and back then 
Rosie O'Donnell had a talk show. And this had been like a few weeks after 9-11 happened. And she said that she had friends in California, obviously, because she is in the entertainment business. And they said, come on, let's go. Let's go do this. Let's go party over here. Let's have fun. Come on over to California and let's go have some fun. And she lived in New York. And she said, how can you be so nonchalant about it? We're hurting. Our country's hurting. Now, at the time that I saw 9-11, I was in Texas living in uh, in North Richland Hills, Texas. No, Irving, Texas. Doesn't really matter. And, excuse me. Um, I'm sorry. And so it was, it seems so far away. You know, this happened in New York and Pennsylvania and whatnot. And here I was in Texas, so far in the south. Everyone was putting up flags. And after time, there was this one girl who called in to a radio station. And she said, I am so tired of seeing all these American flags. They're everywhere. What's the deal? And we just couldn't believe it. We just couldn't believe this woman. Many people really gave her a hard time for that. And they should have. And in other countries, people were even making a joke out of it. They started dressing up as the burning towers for Halloween. And it just, it hurts. It hurts a lot. I know that there are a lot of you that are young. Anybody who's up to 17 years old really doesn't know the pain that our country suffered on that day. So anyway, I just, I want to pay honor and respect to those who, who died and those who suffered losing loved ones on this day. I just want to honor them somehow. So if you'll come with me, I'm going to go to the 9-11 Memorial in Williamsville, New York. And I am inviting you to come with me. Let's go. I'm just curious, you know, if you remember where you were 
when you got the news about 9-11 or when you heard about it, you know, I'd like to hear about your experience when, uh, you know, like I said, when you learned about 9-11. Put them in the comments below and let's hear your story. I know when I moved up here to New York from Texas, it really impacted me because I met a lot of people who lost family members and loved ones because of that tragedy. And it made me realize that I was far away when it happened. If that, that even makes sense. Maybe I'm just rambling. But I put in the comments below, I, I'd like to hear your story and where you were at the time or, you know, what you experienced at the time. And let's honor and respect and never ever forget. Okay? And uh, God bless America.